Olivia buys three packets of nuts. She pays with a two pound coin. This is her change. What is the cost of one packet of nuts? Well, the first thing we should do is add up her change. So we've got 50 plus 20, which is 70 pence, plus 10, which is 80, plus another 10, which is 90, plus five, which is 95. So she's got 95 pence change. So if she's got 95 pence change and she paid with a two pound coin, we need to figure out what she actually spent on the nuts. So if we do two pounds, which is 2.00, and subtract 95p, which is 0.95, we'll find out what she actually spent. Now, you, some of you could probably do that in your head, but if you can't do and get the answer is one pound five pence. But if you can't do it in your head, let's have a look. So zero take away five, you can't do. So you need to borrow one. But the next column is a zero, and you can't borrow from zero. So you need to borrow from the two, which makes one. And the one you borrowed makes this zero into ten. But well, that's still no good because you you still can't do zero take away five. So now you need to borrow from the ten, which makes that into a nine. And the one you borrowed makes this into a 10. So 10 take, now you can do it. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 9 is nothing. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So we are indeed left with £1.5. So she must have spent £1.5 on the three packets of nuts. So she spent £1.5. Remember, £1.5 and 95 adds up to your £2. So, three packets of nuts, £1.5. Well, this is three packets of nuts, so we need to share £1.5 by three, because the question is actually asking us for one packet of nuts. So, if we share £1.5 by three, here we go. You can do a bus shelter for this, short division. So, 1.05, we're sharing that by three. Threes into one will not go. So you put a zero at the top, but you haven't used the one yet, so you carry the one across to make ten. Threes into ten goes three times, that's nine. So there's a remainder of one. Carry your one across to make fifteen. Threes into fifteen go five times. Don't forget your decimal point. So we've got 0 0.35, but remember this one pound five was in pounds, so this 0 0.35 is also in pounds, so it's 0 0.35 pounds. In your answer box, you can either write 0.35 with a pound sign, or obviously this means 35 pence, so you could write 35p. Okay, so let's make sure we get that. Nice and neat. So 0.35 with a pound sign, or 35p. Basically means the same thing. As a double check, you could go back to the start and write 35p on all the bags of nuts if you multiply 35 times 3 see what that gives us as a check 3 fives is 15 put the 5 and carry the 1 3 threes is 9 plus the 1 is 10 so that's 105p remember 105p is the same as £1.5 if you spend £1.5 you would get 95p change from a £2 coin so it all works out and that's the answer finished